Greetings, fans of the Gas Station Simulator. Today, we're picking up where we left off in part one with some questionably useful information about how this game mirrors a real life gas station. So, without further ado, here we go. It's 23000 to replace one of these, so you can see the majority of the money comes from production, uh, not from the pumps. And it's actually just kind of like real life too, because in a real life gas station, they don't make money selling the gas. They make money, the people who make money are the ones that are uh, generating the gas, uh, uh, you know, refining it, trucking it, the, the oil companies, not, not the little guy who owns the gas station. So we're just trying to get into the oil business here and uh, stay out of the gas station business. Of course, this game doesn't have, you know, any concept of having a store and, and having items for sale in the store. Because even like if you look at a real gas station, that's how they make their money is selling you a $3 bottle of Coke. Not, uh, not in selling you the gas. In fact, some gas stations almost break even on the gas. So... So now, you know, we've got four rows of, uh, of level twos. That's not bad. You know, we're generating money at a fairly decent clip here. And we're just going to go ahead and replace these as the money becomes available. Of course, we get 5k back every time. Uh, and we're getting 100% of our original investment back, which is the important thing to note. So we're not wasting any money doing this. You know, we don't want to sell too early, kind of like I did there, because now we're, you know, losing ticks on this space. But, you know, there it is. And, you know, you'll invent little games to play with yourself. Uh, it's, you know, it's a little tedious in these in these early levels. You know, you can run through here... You can hop around between all of your hydrolyzers. And you know, if you get a decent enough establishment built, people will come check it out. <laughs> and they'll wonder how on earth you have all this stuff. Uh, most of the people who play this are, are just, uh, you know, casually checking it out. So, you know, what's the, what's the first rule of winning a game? Pick one that not everybody's trying to win. You have way better odds. So we got three rows left. And as you can see, as I'm getting these level twos down, we're making significantly more money. Uh, and that's just, these will generate almost exactly twice as much as the level ones. You, know, you you can break it down. There's there's a lot of rounding going on when you look at these numbers. Like this is rounding uh, quite a bit, and when you sell, uh, you know that's rounding quite a bit because you know it's only to the nearest hundred that it's showing. So it's a little bit of fuzzy math. You kind of have to you know watch it watch the numbers grow over a large number of ticks, and then you know divide by the number of ticks to get the average to really understand exactly all, all of these numbers are because some of them are are fairly especially in these early levels uh they don't increase incredibly rapidly so it can be difficult to know what's best i do have a spreadsheet that has pretty much all the values in it in terms of what the costs are what they generate what they generate at any particular level of rebirth because when you do rebirth it says uh, that you get a 15% cash boost each time and it requires an e-power research building and 5 million but it doesn't really tell you but what's a 15% cash boost is that when I sell here is that when I sell uh, gasoline at retail over here and um, I mean, it's a little ambiguous, and I don't I don't want to get into the into the numbers and quote them incorrectly, but I I will make available my spreadsheet that you can come to the same conclusions that I'm that I'm sharing here uh, if you want to. But we're almost. And 
we're almost there. And so you, you can see now, I've got all of this money that we, basically every penny we've made in the gas station is invested back into it all the time. So we'll sell these two, down two more. And basically the way this is gonna work is, uh, we'll get all these down to layer uh, level two, and then it's still more cost effective just to, just to go to the level threes. They generate twice as much um, uh, as these do. And you know, when we go to ePower, we'll need an additional 380K just to get started. And you know, a level two hydrolyzer makes more money than a level one solar cell. And it's pretty on par with a level two solar cell. So there's not really a lot of advantage to it. Uh, you could absolutely put it in, you know, and play with it, but for the purposes of, of rebirthing and getting out of this tedious, you know, early stage game where it takes a long time to rebirth, uh, you don't you don't really ever need to even touch e-power. Because the game gets a lot more fun once you can turbo rebirth. Obviously, I'm on private server so we don't have to worry about you know people coming up but people will do all kinds of things they'll they'll come in and try to you know crash into you with cars and they'll accuse you of cheating and all of these different things and it's just a lot easier not to deal with them so that's what I do and uh, yeah so we've got you know our field of level twos got our hydro building uh, we've got a fairly nice gas station here you know there's other things you can do uh, you can go ahead and you know add a roof I haven't really noticed I think this is purely for aesthetics I haven't really noticed any difference and it's 500 per roof segment which is just money especially earlier than you know, where we are now maybe 500 is pretty cheap for us now but um, there's really no advantage to it because I don't think it changes whether or not you get more customers. It doesn't change, you know, obviously how long it takes a customer to refuel. So plus it just makes it harder to see if I filled these in. Um, kind of makes it hard to see. Sometimes I'll spell words with it. If I'm on a public server, I'll say like, you know, like draw an H and, a, and an I and say hi. Uh, <laughs> just just to uh, play with people is kind of fun but you know that's that's really it so we're we're letting this go uh unfortunately in order to get a single level three hydro we need 375,000 we're only at 157 so we got a little ways to go so we'll go ahead and we'll drop in some hydro pumps complete this segment maybe we can get a few more users in See how much faster I can lay those down with the oops, picked up in there uh, with the with the keyboard shortcuts. I wish you could do everything in the game with keyboard shortcuts because it's so much faster than navigating the menus. But that's what we got. And uh, let's go have a look at the leaderboard. You can see the goat is over there rebirthing in turbo. Uh, very similar approach to what uh, is, is played in the videos that I've released already. You know, obviously uh, my son is playing the goat for me right now on the other computer, so. Just kind of wanted you guys to be able to see how quick this is going up. So he's at 15,231 right now. And uh, 232, excuse me, just got a new one. 200, actually it's at 233. The leaderboard's a little behind. This is happening very, very quickly. Um, I think he's averaging around 50 seconds right now, so per rebirth. We could do it faster, but uh, it's hard on the hands, really, more than anything. Uh, the Fabulous Tomato has been in 1945 now for quite a little while. Uh, he made a good run to try to keep up, but we've, we've really taken this to the next level. 
And uh, the two black Labradors, 1370. I think he's been there for a while. Um, you know, A3, uh, Sedigical? Gigical? Yeah, I think it looks like he drug his knuckles. Said that before. Still seems to be the case. Not a lot of movement here. Uh, True Pony, Super Kun, Zaza, We Me UI. We Me UI is one of the originals. He's been on here forever. 768 rebirths and uh, total time played. I uh, thought he was on here. Yes, number two at almost 2,000 hours. And I, I, you know, I did this math before. But um, I'll take a look at it again. It's a little bit baffling at first glance. If you uh, take a 52-week year, subtract two weeks for vacation, that leaves you with 50 weeks uh, per year. And if you assume an eight-hour workday and five days a week, that's 40 hours a week. And you take that 40 hours and you multiply it by 50 weeks, you get 2,000 hours. So a full-time job for one year with no breaks, essentially, other than the two weeks, that's 2,000 hours, so this is basically a full-time job. He's played this game for one calendar year and has 768 rebirths. Whereas, uh, if you look at Avelina's dad, the gas station king, uh, he's at 3,851 hours and 40,000 rebirths. So obviously, Avelina's dad is doing something right uh, as far as efficiency is concerned, but he's quite a ways behind the gas station goat because we're at 15,235 rebirths now and uh, we're not even on the board. Good old turkey butt bringing up the rear there at 885 hours. And of course the money uh, leaderboard doesn't seem to work. Uh, I've, I've made billions uh, in a relatively short period of time on my goat account and this never shows up, so I'm not sure if that's broken. There's a few other bugs in this game as well. If you spend the Robux and you get um, the Unlock All Land and you Rebirth, once you Rebirth, you're still in the game, everything resets, but you lose all of the free land. The only way to get your free land back is actually log out of the server and log back in and when you're doing that's actually if you'll note the way the goat is uh, and my, my son's doing it for me right now as I mentioned uh, the way the goat's playing it he's only using the first four rows here uh, because I don't actually have the other rows it takes more time to disconnect from the private server reconnect to the private server to actually be able to utilize any of that land um, so we don't use it, and we don't even use, at this point, after we've hit 15,000, we don't even use all of the space. You don't need to use all the space. And that that's what you'll see is, you know, you have to use all the space to start with, and eventually you get to the point where you make money so fast. I mean, look at the, look at the money going up. It's going down because he's purchasing these, but wait, wait, wait until he sells something. See, that's as far as he's going to go. Now you'll see the, uh, the gap, the, uh, electric building pop in there and you know he's down to 168k he's going to start selling <laughs> you know it didn't even show up but it went to 5 million on on the actual game on his screen he rebirthed oh that's funny i've never i've never actually watched that happen <laughs> it didn't even have time to update the money on the board that's how fast uh, how fast it's going so coming back over here We've got 887,000, so we're making some progress. So what we want to go ahead and do is invest, because we're actually slowing down our rebirth time right now. So we're going to invest some money here. Uh, I got enough for two anyway. One, two. So that's 375,000 times two, or 750,000 that we've invested here. So when it comes time to rebirth, we kind of need to know, um, you know, how much money we've got out on the field because at this point we're generating revenue rather rather slowly in comparison to what you can do. Uh, so uh, we're actually going to sell these to recoup funds to do the rebirth here in a minute. But we've got to 
and so each one of these is doing what basically almost exactly what two of these do so these two are equal to like say four so it it does it does help you know otherwise we're we're pigeonholed we could remove four and spend that 380,000 instead of 375,000 buy the electric building and start laying down electric uh, you know e-power solar cells but by the time we do that uh, you know we first of all we've lost four spaces uh, for efficiency purposes and um, and then you know we have to buy uh, relatively expensive things compared to the costs of hydro because you know L2 hydro is only 23k but uh, L2 solar is more than twice that and it really doesn't generate even close to twice that amount of, uh, of revenue so it makes way more sense just even though the, the cost is so high on the level 3 hydros it works out better to use them so we're going to do that we might be getting kind of close to having the money for another one and we are I mean coincidentally I think we need about 10 of these so another thing to talk about while we're waiting for this to happen is the positioning on the map. Uh, I prefer position number two, uh, and that's just simply because if you're at position number two, uh, you're closest to the leaderboards. It's, a, it's the shortest run, and of course, if you have the jetpack like like David, it doesn't matter. You know, you can you can zip around your heart's content, but. You know, eat, like, uh, I don't actually, on my real account on the GOAT, I don't have the jetpack. I, I didn't buy it. There's not a lot of, not a lot of need for it, uh, unless you're just wanting to tootle around. David really wanted the jetpack, so he got it, but uh, definitely not required. And that's a wrap on part two of my gas station simulator tutorial series for beginners. I hope you guys enjoyed the jetpack trip around the island. It's always fun to take a break from the gas station grind and explore the world a little bit. Perhaps that's a lesson that the gas station king could learn as well. We've laid the groundwork to complete the rebirth, and we're nearing the home stretch. In the next part of the series, we'll optimize our hydro production so that we can move on to that $5 million mark and claim our rebirth. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more useless gas station simulator content or whatever other ridiculous game I end up playing next. Perhaps I'll pick up another Roblox game and have to become known simply as the Roblox Goat. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.